Once upon a time, in the mystical land of Dionysia, a tale of history and wonder unfolds. Dionysia was a realm unlike any other, a realm where magic, nature, and civilizations intertwined in a delicate dance. In the earliest days, when time was but a whisper, the land was blanketed in lush forests, sprawling meadows, and winding rivers. The first inhabitants of Dionysia were the ancient elves, a race attuned to nature's rhythms and gifted with an affinity for magic. They built their homes high in the treetops, living in harmony with the land. As centuries passed, the elves' knowledge of magic grew, and they discovered ways to harness the elements themselves. They crafted floating cities among the clouds, where they could commune with the skies and weave spells that painted rainbows across the horizon. These cities, known as Erastrum, became a symbol of the elves' mastery over the arcane. Yet, as history often teaches, power has its price. The elves' ambition led them to explore forbidden realms of magic, seeking to push the boundaries of their capabilities. In their pursuit of greater dominion over the elements, they inadvertently awakened ancient forces that had slumbered for eons. From the depths of the earth emerged the Drakari, a race of fierce and formidable beings born from molten rock and primal energy. Unlike the elves, the Drakari sought to bend nature to their will, believing that dominance over the land was their birthright. Thus began a conflict that would shape the destiny of Dionysia. For decades, the elves and the Drakari clashed in battles that shook the very foundations of the land. The skies wept tears of sorrow as magic clashed against might. As the war raged on, both sides suffered losses, and the land itself bore scars of their strife. Forests burned, rivers ran black, and the once verdant meadows turned to ashen wastelands. Amidst the chaos, a third race emerged, humans. With a thirst for adventure and a heart full of curiosity, they entered Dionysia seeking refuge from their own world. They found themselves in a land torn by conflict but also brimming with untamed beauty. The humans possessed neither the elves' mastery of magic nor the Drakari's affinity for the earth, but they brought with them a different kind of magic, innovation. The humans settled in the regions untouched by the war, building bustling towns and harbors. They shared tales of their world, and the elves and Drakari, weary from years of battle, were captivated by the humans' stories of unity and cooperation. Slowly, these stories kindled a spark of hope. In a meeting that would become known as the Concord of the Three, leaders from each race convened to discuss a path towards peace. They realized that their strengths, when combined, could mend the wounds of Dionysia. The elves' magic, the Drakari's connection to the earth, and the humans' ingenuity could reshape the land into a realm of harmony. Together, they worked to heal the land, using magic to cleanse the scars and mend the wounds. The rivers flowed crystal clear, forests regrew with renewed vitality, and the ashen wastelands were transformed into vibrant gardens. The three races shared knowledge and learned from each other, fostering an era of growth and coexistence. As generations passed, the once separate realms of the elves, Drakari, and humans became interwoven. The treetop cities of the elves were adorned with Drakari crystals, harnessing both magic and Earth's energy. The humans' towns became centers of innovation, where inventions melded with ancient wisdom. And so, the land of Dionysia flourished in a symphony of magic, nature, and collaboration. The tale of its history, with its lessons of unity and the consequences of unchecked power, echoed through the ages, reminding all who heard it that the true magic lay not in the pursuit of dominance, but in the harmony between different races and forces. And thus, the story of Dionysia, a land once torn by conflict, ended not in tragedy, but in a harmonious chorus of life, a reminder that even the most tumultuous of histories can pave the way for a future of boundless possibilities.